Hello everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here with a look at performance on the GTX 960 and R9 presented here in both 2GB and 4GB iterations. Previously we have had access to both versions of the AMD card, but it's only recently, in upgrading a video editor's PC, that we had occasion to get hands on with a 4GB version of the 960. Normally we'd recommend the R9 here for its faster performance, but he needed a decent gaming GPU, a good hardware accelerator for Adobe Premiere, plus Shadowplay features which made the 960 the one to get. It also allowed us to revisit the great 2GB versus 4GB VRAM debate. We've been pretty clear on this in the past. The new wave of consoles are dedicating more than 2 gigs of memory to graphics tasks. And in a small limited number of cases this has seen performance issues on PCs with 2 gig video cards. And here you can see that in full effect with Assassin's Creed Unity, running here at ultra high settings. Check out the frame time graph on the bottom right. Those dips down on the orange and cyan lines. What you're seeing there only happens on the 2 gig cards. The game is hitching and stuttering because graphics data is flowing to and from the GPU to main system RAM. With the 4GB card there are no similar issues and you get much more consistent gameplay. In Far Cry 4 we see some curious results. The R9 380 sees the virtual elimination of stutter in the 4GB model. And the change is quite remarkable. As the clip progresses, check out the orange line dips in the frame times. Now we see occasional stutter from the 2GB 960, but it's nowhere near as pronounced. Indeed, overall the 2GB card is slightly faster owing to MSI's higher factory overclock. Crytek's Rise Son of Rome also sees some improvement on the R9 380 as we switch between 2GB and 4GB models, with more RAM removing some stutter, but there's no real difference at all on the GTX 960. You do see some alarming frame time dips on the Nvidia cards here, but it occurs only on scene changes, so it's not really a big deal. The rest of the benchmarks reveal very little difference between the 2 and 4 gig cards from either manufacturer, and it's worth pointing out that we do see a 4 gigabyte purchase in this price range more as a future-proofing option, as well as an insurance of sorts against poorly optimised console ports. Batman Arkham Knight, we're looking at you. We also wanted to test GTX 960 overclocking and how that relates to the performance deficit against the R9 380. Here we have the 4 gig card with an effective 900 gigabits per second memory overclock and an extra 160 megahertz to the core, with the card generally boosting to around 1475 megahertz during gameplay. Obviously this does improve the card standing, but the R9 380 at stock speeds is still faster in several titles. Anyway, we'll leave you with more benches to absorb, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. Give us a like if the video proved useful, and subscribe to Digital Foundry to ensure you don't miss any of our output. But that's all we got for now. Thanks for watching. Ambush! Clear the bridge! Explosive material. Yep. 
Come on, you bastards! <laughs> 